Hey hello everybody, my name is Kate Moore. Welcome back for another video of Red Dead Redemption 2. We're gonna continue this series. On the last video, I don't quite remember to be honest what we did. I think um I think we went to Saint Denis or something. We got the kid, that's for sure. That's what I remember. We got the kid back. We worked with uh Bronte and everything. And he, I think he invited us to a party. I think that's the mission that we've got with Ozia and everything. Is that we go to the party probably because look at the picture. Looks like a party alright. So maybe that's it right there. Anyways we've got Ozia a mission right there. And we've got another mission that we got to do which is Marybeth. I want to do Marybeth first because I feel like the Ozia one is the main mission. So maybe I want to do Marybeth. It seems like an interesting one. I We haven't seen Marybeth in a long time. Uh, if not at all. So... Might just be interesting to talk to her. I think I'm going to take some pomade into my hair as well because I'm kind of, well, actually, I got to go into the house in order to do that. So I'm not going to do that. I just want to do the mission Morning, right now, you. guys. Just want to do the mission. So what's next? What does she want uh, to do now? Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but... But we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. <sighs> if you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? You got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? Tell you on the way. Just get going. Jesus, I was just having a, a conversation with Mary Beth. She just comes in and <laughs> like the body checks Mary Beth basically out of the way, gets a gun and tells me to go shoot someone. Are you, what is this? You need to chill for a second, lady. Good lord. Felt like Mary Beth and I were I having something here. I don't know. Yeah, I forgot to tell you guys as well that during my off screen, during off screen, uh, off screen time, I went to see my the the ex of Arthur again, just to see uh, what was going on because she basically got me a letter again, and I had to go see her. And she's actually in Saint Denis now. Um, she wanted me to do another mission, basically. She wanted me to go. She wanted to go back with uh, with uh, me, basically, and get a and do another mission. And I, I said, no, fuck you. I'm done with you. <laughs> That's pretty basically what I said, guys. I throw her off. I went away, and I said, you know what? I'm done with this life. That's my. Uh, that's my past right there. I'm an outlaw now. She didn't take it too well, but uh, she uh, like she understood. So I think she's gonna leave me alone now, for sure. She's gonna stop writing me letters and stuff. Get them annoying. What exactly is going on here? No, get out of here. She's pissed as hell. She wants me to shoot someone. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by it. I said... You said Jesus. Well, what, what, She's gotta chill. 
Alright, I'm gonna just loot him then. Don't know what's the point of looting anymore since I basically got all the money in the world. I can't I don't even need to spend it. I don't I like I don't I have no use to spend it. Alright. Oh, I've got no gun. God damn it, I hate when it does it should automatically put your guns that you equipped normally into your wheel. Like well, it's ridiculous it's him. never there. Alright, just kick the door. The Who's there? Don't start shooting on me, come on now. This guy is still squirmish, guys. He just died, there we go. I think we're good. What about this? Is there anything valuable in this? I guess not. She's doing something here. Don't. Hold on now. No, you don't. What is going on here? Tilly? What just happened here? It's okay, Miss Tilly. Now, let's get you out of here. I thought there was... I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. Uh, uh, Do you see that Dalmatian horse that we just got on? What the hell? Can I have this horse? Looks beautiful, guys. Looks interesting to see the lead. That's awesome. That's a pretty nice, interesting mission, actually. And you know what? The mission we said that it was Mary Beth we needed to talk to, but it's actually not about Mary Beth, which is funny as hell. Thought it was going to be a, a, a like a mission that she wanted us to do or something. Apparently not. So these guys were just slavers or something, or just a plane of bunch of uh, sexual predators. I don't know, guys. Seems like there's a lot of that in this game. All right, let's get this guy. Where's the next one? All right. You I just gotta get the, the find the next one, I guess. This horse is really cool. Feels like a good horse. He's pretty fast too. Where is he going? He, he's surviving all my shots. Like he's got some hit markers right now. What the? Is this Call of Duty, guys? Wait, I oh I can't. That's why I can't kill him. I killed the leader, so I can't kill him, guys. I gotta uh, catch him. Lasso him, all right. Back to Tilly. I gotta catch him. So where is he? He's right there, he's right there. I see him, guys. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. You can't, you can't run away, my guy. You cannot run away. There we go. Oh my God, I missed him. Wait, what? Oh shit. Hang on, hang on. I got him. No, what, what are you doing? Where are you going? You can't run away from me. Come on now. All right. Got him, Octai. What are we gonna do with him? Anthony Foreman. Interesting. All right, you do that. I don't know where I'm gonna put him. I just. Apaloza, that's an interesting name too. Can I have this horse? Like honestly, seriously. This horse looks awesome. I want it. I absolutely want that, that horse as uh, my regular one. Alright, Foreman. Shut up. Shut up, Foreman, man. Oh my Jesus. Why does, why does this always happen to me, guys? Honestly. I can I gotta be careful about that. I, that could probably kill Foreman if I'm not careful. God damn it! Physics. Every video, it feels like I I'm falling on something or I'm hitting something. I, it's ridiculous. Physics of these games are so ridiculous, guys. We're back at uh, the home, I guess, the the place where she is. 
So she's just gonna take her revenge or something. Whatever you do, do what you have to do, I guess. Because uh, I'm, uh, I'm just here to, I guess, as a an outlaw a gunman to help out. Nothing else. So he's still alive then? Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. Uh, spare Anthony Finish or take out. Off. You know my ah, fuck it. I don't care, really. Sadly, I agree with you. <laughs> Sorry, partner. We can't take no chances with the likes of you. Yeah. Nothing personal. It's nothing personal. I just wanted to do that. Why not? I don't. I don't spare anybody in this game, so I'm an outlaw. Remember, so I kill everyone. I loot. I steal from everyone. I do every bad thing you can possibly imagine. I do it. So forget about it, Anthony. You had no chance of surviving this, surviving this one. It wasn't personal, like a uh, lady I was with or with like Tilly. They wanted to kill you, probably or. But I, I killed you, not because of that, just because it, it was how I play usually the game, so it's nothing personal. Alright, let's just go back to the camp, guys. Uh, we're gonna talk to Ozia. That was a pretty nice and quick mission right there. An interesting one, to say the least. I don't think it was really a main mission. Some of these main missions sometimes feel like they are not main missions. I don't know what you're, uh, if you like understand me or something, but... Yeah. Sometimes it just feels like uh, it's yellow. It's a yellow mission, but it like doesn't have the, main, the the same importance as other ones. I don't know, guys. Let's just go back to the camp. Mission is complete. We're back here, so let's just go talk to Ozia. See what he, what's gonna be next for us. I guess the maybe the party we got invited to, because that's what it looks like in the picture. So that's probably what we're gonna do now. Uh, I'm well equipped, but I, f I didn't look like that in the picture. So are, are we going to just be having different costumes and stuff? We'll see. Hey, Arthur. Come on. If we're going to make it to this party, we sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch Van der Linde is finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> we are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There can be fine tickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I'm sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. What a nice costume I've got. Can I keep that costume afterwards? 
Look at this. You can't even buy that costume, I believe. You can't even buy it on the car. Uh, like, you could probably actually buy it. I don't know. I feel like I've got the same jacket. I just don't have the, sa the same, like, uh, thing. I guess instead of being white, the, uh, the shirt is, like, white and stuff to make it look more like a tuxedo. I don't know, guys. Feels like uh, I'm not really that different that's much of a different costume anyways don't have the gloves anymore i do look like a gentleman now except for the beard i look like got them brent burns or joe turden if you guys know what i mean from uh in the nhl look ridiculous with the big beard and stuff i look like a a grandpa <laughs> doesn't matter i love it i'm loving it so follow the escort i guess we gotta go back uh, we gotta go up they are really fast. They're making it quick. Like, I want to see what's going on around, around here. But they're going so fast. Look at this. This is a nice place. I could get used to these type of, types of uh, missions right here, guys. These are the types of missions I like the most. The ones where you infiltrate. Or you basically get invited to parties and stuff. It's pretty fun. So, <laughs> this is Saint Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley. <laughs> a, a Confederate major in the war. <laughs> and a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. <laughs> oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, hand a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows. Mm. This self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Ah, none taken. None taken! <laughs> <laughs> All these vulgar people. They hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money... Yes, of course. But there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you, pff, as a guest, yes! As my guest, bah! Do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> Angelo is uh, an interesting man to say the least. Don't know what to think about him. He wants us, obviously, to be his gunman uh, for hire, which I wouldn't be mad about it. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't be mad about doing it. I mean, just killing a bunch of people, it gives us money afterwards. It would be the type of guy, though, that to, to just throw off the book the minute he wants to, though. So that's why he's, he's so dangerous. We just 
We wouldn't just be gunmen for hire and forever. Like eventually we we would be shot dead because he just feels like it, you know? So that's the more dangerous part of it. What do you say, Dutch? What do we do now? Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, okay then. Just gotta go find the mayor, I guess. Which is very interesting. We got he, he bas Angelo basically showed us that uh, all the people, important people around the town, that could be interesting to talk to, or maybe to steal from. And I'm thinking I'm gonna steal from everyone, really. So this is the guy that's a. Uh, huh. That's a very interesting. Uh, so uh, the confederate or something i don't know so dutch is just trying to follow me around or what a beautiful evening. i don't know guys sure. i gotta find the mayor obviously i don't remember what the mayor looks like this now the only one i remember is this guy right here I don't live and here, the um okay. the native americans so yeah, a, we'll see how we find them eventually i'm not going to talk to them Gotta get out of here. Don't want Dutch near uh, near me. Don't want to see. I don't want him to see me. Just try to steal it from everyone. You know. There's a lot of interesting people in here. Anybody in here that could be interesting? Doesn't look like it. What about here? What is this? Oh, mayor. Hey, now that's the mayor right here. Is that him? Oh, it, it is. It's it's him right there. So that's the mayor. Just gotta t uh, go talk to him. All right, Mr. Mayor, I got something to tell you. It ain't complex, Mu. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. All right, let's get you out of here, buddy. <laughs> Seems like you're pretty too, a little bit too much, too drunk to for a party. Let's give the mayor a break right here. All right. Oh. Let's get you out of here. All right. Now we're gonna talk to the mayor, I guess. It's gonna be interesting to see what the mayor wants from us or what we can do for the mayor that uh, afterwards he can help us out with as well. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux, I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? Hello. Ryder? We seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come inside you in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Uh, we gotta spy the mayor now. We gotta follow him without him seeing us. So we're doing. We're basically doing some Assassin's Creed thing right here. I don't know how I'm gonna get, like, not get seen or anything. Because obviously when you get in there, like this, like there's nothing to show you that you're hidden or anything. So obviously it's just, it's gonna be weird. Just follow this guy. I guess we're not following the mayor, we're just following the, the informant. How are we gonna not get seen? Like, how is, how does that work exactly? He's going to turn around eventually. Uh, stay back from the, uh, the servant to make sure you're not spotted. Well Good. Mr. 
Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Turner. All right. Let's go. The guard is right here, so he's going away. Now that the guard's going away, we can follow, f follow him into the house. Let's go. Oh, God. Is everything taken care of? The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. Okay. I'm just following him, guys. Hiding every time he ta starts talking to people. I guess he's the main guy, he's the uh, main butler and everything, he's the man in charge in the house of all the other people. He's right there. No, what, am, what am I doing? Don't do that. There we go. What is he doing? Oh ma! Not meant for the likes of you, you know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. What's she done? Has she stole? Did she steal something? What just happened here? I'm pretty sure she's gonna just go crying on a corner now. What the hell? That's no way to treat your servants. Come on now. Especially since they're not even paid properly or paid at all. This guy's right there. How am I so close to him? He didn't, he didn't see anything. Oh god. He's gonna see me when he comes back, isn't he? Hang on. What is he doing? Let's see what he's doing, guys. Retrieve the ledger from the desk. What is he? What if he sees me, though? Oh. He's not gonna see me if I'm here. This is a nice desk right here. All right, let's put the ledger. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. We've got something interesting, I guess. Let's go. Oh, hang on. Inspect the letter. What about that? There's a letter right there. Gotta make it quick if I don't want to get seen into the house and stuff. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be here. Uh, Mr. Uh, Monchard Angelo, yet again. Why are they talking to him in French? What's going on here? I guess it's the mayor that wrote to him. The mayor, which is a Frenchman. And Angelo, which is an Italian, so... No real Americans right here. That's very interesting. Let's see what we got. Dutch is right here apparently, so we can just talk to him. This is a nice place. If I could stay here forever, just do this mission forever, that would be pretty nice. <coughs> Find anything? This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think... Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find out? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. A real one, I mean. But not yet. Another bank? A real one, huh? And a stuffed one. We're gonna leave. That could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Come on. That's interesting. We've got two things we can do, basically. The bank and another thing. There will be a lot of money in there. Here Thank you for my, my guns. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home. I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. 
I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. Where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <clears throat> what am I doing? I don't want no hat. It just gave me the hat. Like it was nothing. I don't want any hat. Looks that hat looks ridiculous with my costume, guys. You just actually uh, I can't equip anything. I'm good on guns. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna end it right here. Whatever he's smelling, I'm hoping it's something good because honestly, I want to end up in another trash place. We've got a couple of missions we can actually do. Honestly, there's only one place for the Amer Native Americans that I saw. I I went to and I, I saw a couple of uh, Indian uh, Native Americans, a, a camp of them basically. It's right there. For it's uh, and we cannot have weapons. It's a place where weapons are forbidden. There's nothing to do there. It's like a little area. Wapiti Indian basically. It's the Wapitis. And they're right there. You can't really do anything with them. Uh, except watch them go and run and stuff I guess. I just like there's no you can't do any trades or anything. So there's no point to go there. We'll see if there's a mission. Maybe we can go we have to go there or something. Stranger. So we've got a stranger mission right here we can do, apparently. What is that? Brother Darkins. That's another one right there. That's the one uh, he talked to us about, Ozia. And that's the not, not, not Ozia, actually, the the priest before I started the video. Anyways, there's um, Yo Ho Yosea, another one. How many Hosea's? Okay, whatever, man. There's a mission right there, Trelawney, which has... um. A mission for us I guess we've got two missions we can do for in the next video we'll see what uh, which one we're gonna do I hope you guys enjoyed this one remember to leave a like and subscribe if you didn't enjoy the video keep it easy guys